Hello everybody, Jace coming to you live once again from San Diego Comic Con with an incredibly talented writer, Jason Aaron. Uh, I think this is the first time you're on the show. Yeah, I think so. So welcome, that's awesome. I know we've been talking about it for uh, a lot of years. I love that when you're finally coming on, it's all about Superman. Absolute sure. Superman, yeah. my favorite character ever. Yours as well? The, the he's way up there. He's way up there. Like I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have gotten into comics. I wouldn't be here writing comics if it wasn't for Superman. And I think the I heard the first writer from Kansas that is. I think I'm the first writer from Kansas for sure to tackle a, an ongoing Superman title. Yeah, I've lived in Kansas for 24 years now. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, well, one of the things you mentioned on the panel yesterday is where I want to start. You talked about, uh, in terms of what we know about this absolute Superman, right. Krypton has exploded. Forget everything else you know. Yes. Freedom as a creator to, to build, and, but also sort of uh, like an amazing opportunity. I mean, maybe the most well-known superhero in the world. Yeah. And you're building sort of a new mythos for it. Right. I mean, yeah, freedom slash fear, right? <laughs> like, but I think coming into this, you know, I first started talking to Scott Snyder about this, I think like a year ago, I think after San Diego Comic-Con. We talked about it a long time. And I, I said right away, like, look, if we're going to do this, like, let's be bold. Let's, like, you know, throw it. Like, anything can, anything can change. Anything can be different. And if really put these characters in terms of this, you know, right away we're talking about the, the Trinity, right? We're talking about we knew it was going to launch with Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. And I was like... These guys should be in danger, right? More isolated than in, in a danger than we've seen before. Especially at a time when you've got the main DCU is leaning into the Justice League, right? Justice League is back in a huge way with that new Mark Wade book where you're going to have so many different characters um, who are part of the group. You're not getting that in this universe, right? Like the, these characters are so more isolated, more alone than we've seen them in a while. There's no Superman family. There's no Batman family in the way that we know it. Like, I love that part of it. I love it. It gives a new challenge for these characters. So as a part of that, yes, no no one is where they should be, where we expect them to be, right? Including kal including Superman. Like, things... Krypton is different. What happened when he came here is different. His situation he's in when the, the book starts is different. Without changing the heart of who Superman is, right? Like that part of it's very important to me as a, again, I've still got my Superman nightlight from when I was a kid. Wow. I plug it in, it still works. It's, it smells a little bit like fire, so I don't plug it in very often, <laughs> but I've still got that. I've still got the lump of kryptonite that I got from a, an ad in the back of a issue of DC Comics Presents. Wow. You know, you sent off and got, yeah. a, got a green rock that you hold up to the light and then it glows a little bit. Like, I've still got all this. I've got my Superman the movie trash can from like 1979. Wow. So the, the heart of who that character is is very important to me. And it's about not changing that, but changing everything else. Everything that led this character, his entire journey is different in ways that'll be very, very surprising. And when he starts meeting the other characters, you know, from from his world, they're all in different places. Even who they are, are, are is, is very different in terms of the villains he fights. So there's a lot that'll be new and exciting. And I think, dare I say, like a little bit bold and daring, while still telling a story that is intrinsically Superman. Well, that's one of the things, right? Like. If people are hearing you say this, well, I love Superman, you know, the status quo or, or sort of how he is now. You still have the main line. You can still read all that, everybody. But here's the thing. When you go back and look at the earliest stories of Superman, he couldn't even fly at first. Right. Right. So the mythos that we know has been built over time. You know, it, it, what, he didn't just come right. fully formed. And, sure. then, and then even the changes post-crisis you know sort of a different superman depowered a little more relatable what have you right. this is no different than that just he's such a great character and the things that you're staying true to are what make him iconic and what make right. him a hero more than the powers that stays the same but let's take a big swing and let's build out the rest differently yes yeah i mean it's not about reinventing the wheel in terms of what makes superman superman right that part is intrinsic if anything it's me going back reading so much more about Siegel and Schuster, who they were, why they created that character, what that was originally. But it's like, you look at all that and how do you reinterpret that for not 1939, but 2024? 
So it feels like this is a very, like if we sat down yesterday and created Superman, this is what it would look like, right? That's the kind of driving mandate for, for the entire absolute universe as a whole. Like let's reinterpret these things, not be beholden to anything, question everything, while still maintaining the, the, the core of those characters. That's the part of it to me that's super, super exciting. It's, it's, it's on the one hand something I'm, I've been like chomping at the bit to talk about. This, because again, we've been talking about this a long time internally. But at the same time, I'm having to restrain myself from saying too much right. because I don't want to tell you like how Krypton is different, how Superman's parents are different. Like what, you, you've seen his costume, you can see that, that it looks different. But what does that mean? And I can tell you every part of that from his, like, we didn't, he doesn't have long hair just because long hair looks cool. The, that says something about his personality. The, the, the cape is profoundly different. I'll give, you one, I'll give you one little kernel that I haven't told anybody yet, that, that, you know, we haven't talked about yet. You can see the cape, like, looks, looks a little weird, like, looks different. It's kind of grainy. Like, the cape is... Superman is basically wearing the dust of Krypton. Like he's cloaked Whoa. in like the dust of his home planet. So, That's a little dark, Jason, that he's carrying that around. I think there's different ways to look at it. You'll, you'll see as the story goes along. He's also he's honoring. Right. I mean, his, his suit's also black, you know, so you could look at that as like his suit of mourning in a sense. But he is more cloaked in, in a Kryptonian identity I think than we're used to seeing with the Superman story. And again, in many facets, there are other facets of that suit I'm not going to tell you about. We're not going to talk about yet. That'll be a surprise. But again, it was like drilling down and looking at every part of his journey. I mean, you can see just from the teasers we've given so far, you can assume like his life in Kansas didn't go according to what we know, mm -hmm. right? He's, he's a guy with no family and no home. So he's here in this world without those things. So that said, like we just talked about, I'm a guy who's lived in Kansas for 24 years. So that part of this story is very, very important to me. Just that story, that part of the story is going to be radically different than, than what you know, the story you're used to. And it's just one of the many things about this that gets me really, really excited. And that's a, that's a, you don't get all this in issue one either. Like this is, these characters when we meet them are not fully formed. You know, they're not in their final stage. Like this is a story that will grow and build over the course of many issues. Before you ever see Superman and Batman meet on the page, right? Again, you get the Justice League and its biggest, coolest, fullest version over in the, DC, the main DC universe. Here, Superman is completely, utterly alone. You know, doesn't even meet Batman yet. So when they we do bring those two characters together, that'll be a big, big moment. Well, what's so cool in, in talking about this and, and making sure to stay true to the core of the character, as you said, in a way, it's almost more the case because if he didn't have Ma and Pa, if he doesn't have a family, he didn't have that, then it's all coming internally. His desire to, to help and to still do right. that, right. you know, beacon of hope in a, in a different way. Even as he's, you know, carrying part of his, you know, old home world on his back. I mean, right. that, to me, that's just an amazing idea. It almost, in a way, is, is writing itself. Not, not 100%, because obviously we still need you to, you know, to, to be uh, pulling the, the strings behind the scenes. But uh, it seems like as you were developing it, it, it just organically with the ideas you had, kind yeah. of played itself out. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that, that, my outline, I wrote a big, big outline and sort of Bible of like, this is how I see him, this is how I see Krypton, every part of it. That's one of my favorite things I've ever written. Like that, wow. it, it, I was really, really nervous going up to those. I realized like, this is a big thing and I don't, I don't wanna mess it up, right? And I have a lot of strong feelings about all this stuff. I went back and reread, you know, All-Star Superman, Mark Wade stuff, and just the, the Superman books that are my favorite. And it's like, what, what do I take from those while doing something that is different from all of them, right? I don't think we've seen a Superman story like this, even among the ones that have been sort of reimagining the relaunches. Like, this one is pretty radical in big ways. Well, I, again, I feel like drilling down to who this character is, why he is sustained for so long, why we all love him, just in stories we have not seen him a part of before. 
So obviously we don't want to spoil everybody, but be sure you're pre-ordering. Let your local comic shop know you want this. You, you want this, I promise you. Uh, but one thing I, I do want to ask, and again, without getting yeah. spoilery, uh, the villains that he's gonna gonna face. It's uh, a good question. We're gonna see new versions of them as well, dynamically. You're sort of building yes. a new rogues gallery again, for him. Er, expect everything to be different. So, you know, I've said this issue one does not open in Metropolis. It doesn't open in Smallville. It opens in Brazil. It opens in a different location than we're used to seeing Superman. As a part of that, expect the forces that are arrayed against him to be ones... There'll be some that are familiar, like characters that we usually associate with Superman. Some we have never associated with Superman. But not just in a, like, let's pull something out of left field because it's different. These are... The, the villains he's fighting are intrinsically linked to who he is, like where he's come from, where he's at when we meet him, every, all those pieces fit together in really specifically. Just like I'm talking about with the suit and his look and how that all has meaning, the bad guys he's facing also have deep meaning for the, the, the internal struggle that's going on with him. Like you said, he doesn't have that family, he doesn't have that home. He's in, he's, in, he's in danger and under threat in a way we haven't seen him before and trying to figure out his relationship with the planet on his own. Um, and the forces that are fighting against him, I think, are going to be really, really exciting for people, too. Tweaking these villains, both familiar uh, and, and some that are less so that you don't necessarily associate right. with Superman, but also, you know, perhaps new villains. Has that been the most fun part of, of this? or The uh, whole damn thing has been the most fun. <laughs> Honestly, like I really like when the when I you know this I just started working with DC right after being exclusive with some other guys for a long, for a long time. time yeah, um, just started working with DC. I was like, oh, I want to do a Batman mini series. I wrote some issues of Action Comics. I was I very much said I don't want an ongoing series right now. I'm kind of enjoying getting off of that ongoing train. Just want to dip my toe in the DC waters and write some different characters. And then this opportunity came along. And, you know, I thought about it for a, a bit, like, oh, do I want to take on this big a commitment? And I was like, well, hell yeah, like that. How can I say no to this? Because right. this, this, some opportunities are not going anywhere and they'll come around again. This one doesn't. This is like the one opportunity to reimagine Superman yeah, a moment in a time. big way. And I realized, oh, I have to do this. Um, and I've not regretted that for a second. So really the whole entire thing from the Krypton, the, the Kansas part of it, which is obviously personal to me, the look of him, the, you know, once we got Rafa Sandoval involved and his designs for Superman, every part of it, my excitement grows and grows and grows. And that'll continue even once, you know, November comes around and issue one comes out and people see what we're, the beginning of that story. There's still so many big surprises to come, you know? Some things will be a surprise once we get to issue 12. You know, like this is a big story that will revolve and evolve as we go in huge, huge ways. And then what lies beyond issue 12? That's super exciting. So this is this is me like putting my stake in D.C. in as big a way as I possibly can for the long term. Yeah. One of the other things is I want to preach a little patience to everybody. Enjoy the story. Uh, you know, read it, buy it, enjoy it, and don't be in a hurry. Don't, don't, don't be. Hey, when's this person going to show? Up? When's this person? I mean, think about how long it took to build the mythos of Superman. Decades and decades and decades. Right. You don't want to throw everything in the first twenty-four issues and then. Sure. Okay, where do we I go mean, from yeah, there? Yeah, I mean, I think I, I'm kind of the, the, you know, I'm, I'm new to all this, right? I'm new to DC. I'm new to everybody I'm working with. I'm the guy that's like, let's slow down and like us enjoy the ride and yeah. savor it. And so, yeah, I think. I think we're all trying to be very considerate about, again, we have a whole new world, right? We have a whole new universe that we're exploring together. Uh, and we're being considerate about when we introduce this character, that character, not just throwing everybody in the mix, right? Again, the, the, the fundamental nature of this, this absolute universe is different than what you know. So everybody we meet is going to be different in different places. I think we're all enjoying that. Me, Scott Snyder, Kelly Thompson, who's doing Wonder Woman. Uh, Je Jeff Lemire is doing Flash. I think yeah. we can talk about that. Yeah. That's been announced. Other creators whose books haven't been announced yet. Like We've all been uh, talking with each other, sharing stuff. I think there's a very palpable sense of excitement and joy you can see in all those books. Where we're all 
super, super excited about what we're doing and getting to very much build this together. Like we email each other questions of like, hey, can we do this? And we're like, yeah, we can, because we're, we're writing all the rules, you know? Yeah, yeah. and uh, to your uh, point about excitement, everybody being all in, uh, right. so many good, good call yeah, good so call many back. of you uh, I can tell the like, you're like man I'm so excited I want to talk about it uh, but you guys all have to be patient as well for the books yeah. to come out because again we want everyone to experience it uh, but I'm sure that when that book drops you're just gonna be uh, you know kind of soaking in the, the feedback and the excitement that we're all gonna have as readers and fans uh, to see what our reactions are once we kind of start learning about this new version of Superman. Oh, for sure. Like I like I said, my excitement has just been building and building and building. That will absolutely hit, you know, come come October you get uh, Batman and Wonder Woman and November you get Absolute Superman. But it doesn't stop there, you know, like everything everything you're going to get is not in that first issue. There's a lot. There's a lot in that first issue, but that's just the beginning of a really really big story that I think people are going to enjoy as it continues to unfold over the course of the next, you know, the following year. Go back to something else that everyone has to be patient about. You mentioned before this idea that he is alone and not just him. Like you, you all are going to take your time before these heroes ever come together so that when they that, do yeah, meet. That's, that's my instinct. That's the thing yeah. I'm pressing for. Of like, we want it to feel like a cohesive universe, but without you know, again, keeping these characters in danger in a way we haven't seen and drilling home. This is what's different about the absolute universe versus the other one, where you got a Batman family, you got a Superman family, you got a massive Justice League, you got this sense of legacy going back decades. This universe, you got nothing. You got these new characters just stepping on the block, still forming and figuring out how to do what they want to do. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, but. But in in that situation, you saw. It. So there may be, you know, people out there that are like, "Well, why wouldn't they come together sooner?" But to, to your point, we have to understand who these new versions of these characters are. Right. We as fans need to, to care. So then, uh, I think the word you used on the panel yesterday is, "So when Batman and Superman do meet for the first time, it's it matters. It's an event, and we feel that just like the characters right. feel it. And there's a reason for it." Right, and even that meeting may not go like you 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 know like you would expect it to go. Like I think, yes, we don't want to fire all our bullets at once. Exactly. Right? I think the big bullets we're firing right now are who are these individual characters, and there's so much that is new and different about that that we want to spend time with that before we get to like, well, what does it look like when Superman and Batman cross paths, or Batman and Wonder Woman, any of that sort of stuff. I think we can do all that in really fun, exciting ways that are not, you know, okay, here's these new versions of the characters, now here's the Justice League, right? I think there's so much fun we can have before we ever, ever worry about getting to that point. Maybe at some type point we do down the line, but this is, to me, this is what makes this absolute universe so exciting. It is not gonna be that. It is so 180 degrees different from what everything this everything cool that's going on is a part of all in over in the other DC universe. Yeah, and to your point earlier, it's about it, for us as fans uh, and readers enjoying the journey as well. Right. Let's, let's all have a little bit of patience. Let's all you know check it out as we need to, uh, and we'll we should all be all in on this. Uh, joining yes. you all on the I'll journey. I'll be there. Yeah, 100%. So thanks so much for chatting with no me. No uh, Thank Jason. you. It's great it, to talk yeah, about this. It's been uh, a while that you've been building this. So yeah, can't wait. Everybody, November, be there for Absolute Superman. Yeah.